Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 362. Uh, minimum moves to spread stones over grid. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. So this one, um, there, are a couple, there are many, many ways to do it, is my understanding. Um, the key thing to note is that N is equal to 9, or 3 times 3, which is 9, right? And that allows for, I mean, I, I actually haven't confirmed this, but people on my Discord tells me. So you could do it with backtracking or brute force. Um, but even at its core, let's say you have something that's slightly bigger, but not that much bigger. Uh, what is it, right? Well, the way to kind of recognize this problem is that, is that it is actually a, a maximum by party matching, right? You have, you have, um, and if you don't know what that is, uh, uh, let me type it up real quick. Uh, you could Google it. It's kind of a, definitely a, um, more, uh, it could be a more advanced topic. It's just depending on the constraints. I say this because there are a couple of solutions depending on N and that really depends on, you know, but the idea here is that you have, you have these sources and sinks, right? You matching this two with, uh, so you're matching this two with a zero or this three with, with, with the, two, with two of the zeros and this other three with two of the zeros and you try to figure out uh, which two to choose for each of the threes and so forth. Hence, you have a bipartite matching and you're trying to maximize, um, I guess in this case it's maximum, oh sorry, min cost, uh, it's not, uh, maybe I messed this up a little bit in the explanation, but it's a min cost bipartite matching and not maximum because I guess you're, uh, because you have exactly nine stones, you always will have a perfect matching it's just about the min cost of it and there are a couple of number of ways to do it there's um you know you could uh there's like a hungarian algorithm there's uh max flow a min cost max flow which i do not recommend per se um but you but some people probably have template and probably did it that way i'm curious if anyone did it that way no uh oh this is just um This is just, uh, what you might call it, that, that's just backtracking. So a lot of people just actually end up doing backtracking and, and boot, other ways of brute force. Way slicker than the way that I did it because I didn't really, I don't know, I guess I could, I, I guess the way that I did it is also brute force, but I just memorized, um, which is not necessary apparently. But the way that I did it was with bit mass dynamic programming. Uh, and the idea, like I said, is about creating these sources and sinks and then just doing a DP on it. I'm going to go over my solution. Like I said, there's so many different solutions. Uh, I guess this is min cost. Um, so, you know, uh, definitely feel free to to uh, play with one yourself, you know? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so th first of all, you know, here... Ooh. Did I write the, this is in the code? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so here I I um I, I match the, the sinks. Uh, I set up the sinks, you know, the zeros where it needs the stone, and then the sources where it has extra stones. And and for for the way that I did it, I just kind of um you know, just put an extra you No, know, I, I put I created like for every extra stone, I created an extra source. You could have win in a number of ways, but I just thought this was easier. And keeping in mind that this is at most nine or like, you know, four or maybe two sources, seven uh, sinks or something like this, right? Three sources, six sinks, something like this. So it can't even actually go to nine. So my brute force here is pretty straightforward. Um, for every source, I need, I know that to find uh, a sink. Uh, and yeah, and I'm not going to go over bit mass dynamic programming on the purpose of this video. There are a lot of, um, I've done a lot of videos on it. So definitely practice the daily problems and see if you could kind of come up with one. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know, what I'm going to say for now. Um, yeah, but basically the idea here is that, okay, so we match index with an I. So this is basically me brute forcing matching the index and an I with a cost of, um, you know, just the distance, right? This is the the um, Manhattan distance between the, 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 the X and the Y. Notice that I actually just avoid grids altogether. So, yeah, so I don't even have to go do grids, which is kind of nice, actually, um, because then I don't even have to think about, like, going up, down, left, right. I just kind of, you know, 
do the Manhattan distance. Uh, yeah, and I, I minimize this over everything. And that's pretty much it. So what is the complexity here? Well, index can go from 0 to 9 or n or whatever. Um, I mean, I, this n is a little bit different because I choose n as the number of source. So maybe we can say this is number of source. And mask can go from 0 to 2 to the m, where m is the number of sinks. So, so then the number of inputs is going to be O of n times 2 to the m. And the number of... Uh, Oh, um, and for each input, it takes O of M times, so this is O of N times 2, uh, O of N times M times 2 to the M time, and space is more straightforward, 2 to the M space. Uh, like I said, there's so many ways to do it, you can also do backtracking, or even next permutation, because there's only... Uh, I mean, maybe like 9 factorial or something like this, so maybe in some languages fast enough. So yeah, um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, you stay. You can watch me solve it live during the contest now. I guess that was the only case. I couldn't figure out that one case. I knew there was something like this, but oh well. All right, three by three. Multiple stones in a single cell. Okay. I was still thinking about the last farm, that's why I'm a little bit slow in reading this one. Um I think there's just bipartite matching, but we can try to do a little bit better. I mean, it's just brute force in a smarter way, I guess. Um, okay, let's just set it up then. It is by part I matching, but I'm like I don't, even though there's only nine cells, I still don't want to write a max flow for this. Is it exactly nine cells? Oh, exactly nine stones. So maybe maybe I don't need to do it that way actually. Then, um, okay. Then what does it mean? I'm trying to think about the most best way to write it. Mm, let's just write it just for now. Maybe I'll have to improve it later. Um, I see, I see. I forgot that from my mask. Source. 
So I want to make it a little bit differently. Um, minus one. Here we go. <coughs> so you have to use one of the masks. So I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. And then now Do the cost, of course, but plus, um, uh, which. Four, all right, let's go. All right, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Hope you enjoyed the contest. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.